Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. We got Bitcoin, Solana, BNB today. Uh, as you're going to see, they're all looking really good. And we got our hot coin of the day. Just one today, but I think it could be a good one or not. We'll see. Uh, all right. First up is BTC, per usual. BTC on the daily here, double bottom pattern. Now you have a handle. Volume's declining off at a good pace. Your average volume's declining. This whole week has been under average volume. That's really good. Um, when you get low volume like this, it indicates that the sellers just really aren't around. Now, we did start to move a little bit lower yesterday, which is something we weren't doing the rest of the week. But that's it's not a deal breaker. We're respecting this low. And uh, we're, we're just not really moving that far, which is great. Our candles are getting smaller, which is excellent indication of consolidation and likely to make a directional move. Uh, we're, we're thinking upwards because this is a bullish pattern, but obviously it could be down too. But we're thinking upwards. Um, so everything is pointing in the correct direction. Uh, in the intraday chart here, two hour chart on the left, you've got little declining wedge, just a small pattern. We're starting to chop through it in a sideways fashion. That's not bad, that's fine. Uh, as long as we hold these lows, ideally these lows here at the 66,318, that's ideal. So if we can hold that, that would be great. Uh, whenever we move, do move up through the 69,272, that really would be a time to go. Above that, you have a declining trend line that these two top points make here. That's another potential time to go. Uh, you also have this 72,713, which is your actual breakout for the double bottom pattern. That could be a good time to go. So you have a number of areas which could be good times to go. Now, if you're one of those people that can't wait to buy because you're impatient and like to lose money, you can try to buy down here, but there's no guarantee it's gonna work out. If you do buy down here, what is likely to happen, what happens most of the time, is it comes out, takes out your stop, and continues going. Um, but that being said, uh, it, it's not a bad time to, to consider some lower buys. Now, if you do consider a lower buy, here's how you handle it. First of all, you don't take your, your traditional position size. And if you don't know what your position size is, that's a red flag for you as a trader right there, okay? You need to know how much of your account you are putting into a position. If it's all of it, you're an amateur, okay? If you do have uh, position sizing rules, then you're definitely on your way, okay? So the rule here is you take half of your position size and you put your stop wherever you put your stop. Uh, for me, a stop could go here at the like 67,000 level maybe just a little below it. You could also go underneath this candle here at 66,200, call it that. And you let that ride, that 50% position size, you let that ride, okay? If it gets broken out, you're only broken out for half of your position, very manageable loss. But if it works out, those other places I gave you could be places to add to your position. Take a 50% position, add 30% to that, and add the other 20% to that. And your average cost is reasonable, okay? It's reasonable, but if you get hurt, it's not that bad. So that is a good way to approach this situation. Now, there's no guarantee we're gonna move up immediately. There's still a high chance you get stopped out of that position. Uh, that's why it's a half position size. If you were sure you weren't getting stopped out, why don't you throw the whole thing on it with margin, sell your house, your wife, your kids, and just put it all in there, okay? But that's usually not what happens. Now, there's one or two times where you can do that, get lucky and not get hurt, okay? If you did it down here on my alert there, that was one of them. This one may be another one. It's pretty good. So if, if it's something you want to try, I, I would. Uh, this would not be a, a bad opportunity. That being said, um, if we went sideways or even a little bit lower and took out these two lows, uh, we still have quite a bit of time to this to this trend line here. So we're really in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot, especially just to pay attention to the markets. Even if you're not buying, you don't have to buy, but you should pay attention. Um, you have to realize by now, if you've been doing this for any period of time, the market requires your attention to be successful. Okay, so if you're not paying attention, you won't be successful. All right, on to my other two coins, Sol Solana. Uh, this one with a cup and handle and similar situation to BTC. We're getting low candles here. We're getting low volume, really under average. If you look close, we're starting to tick down on the average volume. We kind of came out here flattened out, starting to tick down a little bit. Um, if we do get more high volume coming in here, ideally it's popping up. So maybe the average volume is as low as it's going to get here. But Solana is also in a pretty good place. We have an alert at the 172.37. This one not as low and slow, but we are getting a couple of a couple of smaller candles here. Hopefully that can continue. All right, BNB. We've we've touched on this in the past. Um, I've been all over this for my for my Power Hour show. 
really tight action here. We did take a step lower, but the volume was negligible. So not much of, of a move there bouncing off of this inclining trend line. So if you don't know, uh, BNB has a really tight price action here. I'm not sure, actually I'm not sure what this would qualify as. Probably isn't a cup and handle 23%. Not even not 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 really good for a flat base, but this is crypto, so maybe we could make an exception. But anyway, this is a, a good consolidation regardless, and uh, we have a 606.40. If you, want, if you bought it off that trend line, good. Otherwise, I say maybe try to wait for the higher high here. Any higher high could maybe get you into this BNB trade, as this is uh, in a pretty good spot. Notice my last alert here at the 582.60. Somehow that's a little bit off. I must have moved that at some point. This 582.60, uh, for the most part, is held. So we're already in a very minor uptrend overall. So the uptrend's loosely intact. You just need volume to step in. Uh, but it hasn't stepped in on pretty much anything yet. One inch it stepped in on a little bit uh, the past couple of days, but that's it. All right. And on to the hot coin. Is it a hot coin? Is it not a hot coin? Well, the symbol's not. So fun play on words there. This is a new IPO. Uh, it's up the most by far the past 24 hours is actually not even in the top 50. It's ranked 85. But look at the volume on this thing. Absolutely tremendous. Uh, one flaw to it, though, is yeah, I guess it's not too too bad of a flaw. This is the biggest breadth candle. You have to ignore this one. This is the biggest breadth candle and the largest volume as well. But with the breadth these are putting in, you would think this would be higher. This is even higher volume, less breadth. So there's some distribution happening up here. I wouldn't be rushing into this thing. Otherwise, you're just cannon fodder for the, the hodlers that are that have been holding this and started this and are looking to sell to you. So uh, if this undercuts this trend line, I would just be out completely just to wait to see what happens, okay? You want to trade these things wisely. And I think jumping in right now really probably is not wise. Well, I do like big volume and I was initially pulled in by it. Um, see, this this one's better. This is a better candle right here where you have, this is high volume, maybe triple these and your candle breadth is maybe double most of those, some of those. So it's not as bad, but there's definitely a distributive component to what's happening right here. Um, that being said, if it holds that trend line, you can try to you know buy the bounce off of that if that's something you're interested in. So. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, I think waiting for this price action to play out is very wise, but we're, we're in a place where we can't seem to be going lower in these top tokens, okay? And I've given you the top tokens. I hope you uh, use them wisely and uh, lose a little bit or make a lot. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.